Hey everyone, my name is Daniel and in today's video, I'll show you how you can go ahead and build an agent from an existing Power Apps Canvas app. Now, this is currently in preview, so it does come with a few limitations, but it's still important that you watch this video because this will give you ideas for the future solutions that you're planning to build, especially if you're building a Power Apps Canvas app for some type of crowd operations and along with it, want to tie in a Copilot Studio agent for natural language type of conversations. Also, as I was building and testing this, I was surprised by somehow all the features worked and you might be too. So it's very, very important that you watch this complete video. But first, here's my intro video. So let's get started. So if this functionality is also available in your tenant, if you come to your Power Apps specifically of type Canvas type and you go and click on these commands, you will see this feature called Create Agent from App in Preview. And it's tied only to the Canvas app because if I scroll down and you see my model wrap over here, again, if I click on the commands, I don't see that preview functionality. It is only there for your Canvas app, at least for now. Also, as I was doing testing, one thing caught my attention. And also I double checked that with the documentation. So here is the Microsoft's actual learning documentation. I've taken that and put that in the description below so you can have that for your own convenience. And it's a great learning documentation. It gives you all the information that you want, gives you some description, importance, but it also talked about a limitation and I firsthand experienced it. So let me show you what this documentation states and then I'll also demonstrate that to you. So right here in the limitation it says, if a data source connection isn't found, it's not possible to extract actions for app. In such cases, agent builder still generates an agent, including the actions that can be converted or none if no actions can be converted. So either way, the agent gets created, but then after that, what happens in the agent is completely dependent on your connection. So let me take that one step further. So to fully test this, I actually came up with three different types of apps. And let me show you that. Uh, one of them is an agent app, basically just a simple app to go and see some data, but it has SharePoint only. Other one is very, very similar, but it has Dataverse only. And I say SharePoint only, Dataverse only, those are the connections to the data sources. But to take it one step further, I built a third app to show a combination of Dataverse and SharePoint, all to understand what this means. Since if a data source connection isn't found, it's not possible to extract actions. Because here's where the confusion happens. Take for example this app, right? This is the one which has Dataverse only. Now if I go to table, I still see two data sources over here. These are connections to two Dataverse tables. But keep this in mind, Dataverse is a native data source in the Power Platform. And when you say native, you don't have to go and create a full connection for that. It directly ties into your Power Platform and Canvas app. And I'll prove that to you. So this app, which is build agent from app Dataverse only. If I come in over here, that's the one, Dataverse only. I can click on the commands and then I go and click on the details. Right here under connections, it is blank. Why? Because there are only two data sources and that is Dataverse and Dataverse is a native source. Make sense? All right, because right over here on the next one, see this, has, this is the one which was Dataverse and SharePoint. It has again, those two data verses, the exact same one over here, but I've entered and added a SharePoint. Now the SharePoint one, that connection shows up, all right? So if I come back over here, see the data version SharePoint, the one that I just showed you. Again, if I click on the commands, we go and click on details, click on connections. Ah, see, now we see SharePoint over here. And so you guessed it, for that third app also, which is SharePoint only, let's do that. If I go and take a look at this app, SharePoint only, take a look at the tables, I have got three different SharePoint lists tied over here, but there are connections. So if I come back again and take a look at just that app, SharePoint only, click on the commands, click on details and go to connections, ah, uh, you see that SharePoint is there. So I took the time to explain all of this to you just to build the background because now when we create the agents, you're gonna see some interesting functionalities and this is why it happens. So what we're gonna do now is go through three of these Canvas app scenarios one by one. And the first one is the perfect scenario. It has got SharePoint only. So when I click on the commands, I'm gonna go and click on create an agent from app. 
Again, the app is not the important piece. It's a very simple app, goes ahead and does some CRUD operations, shows stuff, go ahead and do editing. It's all a simple app over here. Now, when I go ahead and put this up, now what we are seeing is this pop-up window about Copilot Studio. And it already gives us some personalized options tied to that app because now it's saying, hey, what do you want this agent to do? Is it something about managing coffee machine types or handle coffee machine records, process coffee machine complaints? Uh, I like the middle one, which is handle coffee machine records. So I'm just gonna go and click on that. Um, and then this prompt already comes up. We can go and tweak it as you want, but I'm gonna leave it over here for the sake of this demo. And I'll go and click on next. Now it already goes ahead and puts in a name, description, and using the generative AI, it already put in some nice instructions. You've got flexibility to tweak this however you want. I've done a whole set of videos on that. So I'm not gonna emphasize on that over here. What I'm gonna do is make sure I click on create. So now it goes through this process. It actually says generating handle coffee machine records agent. And it's already going through and saying that, okay, all of this work is happening in the back end. So it's very important at this point that you just let it be because there's nothing we can do to speed this up. Also, it is in preview process, so it may take some time. But the important thing is that this is automatically building an agent in the back end, which you and I will see. Also, it builds it directly in that same environment. So you see on the top right, this is my environment name, which means this agent which is getting built will only be there in that environment. It doesn't go and put it somewhere else. At least for now, that functionality isn't there because you notice it didn't ask us if you wanted to put it in separate environment. No, it directly starts doing that and we'll put it in this environment. So what we have to do right now is just patiently wait for this thing to finish off. All right, so it's already done. Um, so, okay, yeah, I can go ahead and close this off right over here. I can X out of over there. And now if I click on edit in Copilot Studio, it directly takes us into Copilot Studio. It opened up another tab, but it directly takes us into the Copilot Studio, maintaining that same environment. See, here is where we were in that environment. And now our agent is also built in that environment. And here you go. All in all, it is still pretty neat. So just in case, if I were to go outside again back to the home, this is the new one that was just created. See the name also, Handle Coffee Machine Records? That's the one that we gave it. So I'm gonna click on that and let's just take a little bit of time looking at it, all right? So there's the name, here's the description that we just picked. Instructions all given in detail right down to the URL and it's telling all this information. In fact, there's a lot of good tips I can pick up over here from this instructions. Next in orchestration, it is by default turn on. And then there's the knowledge and the actions. And this is what caught me by surprise because in my initial thinking, I thought all of these would actually just be knowledge. Because for example, if I just randomly pick another one of my agent and I actually click on add knowledge and click on SharePoint, I could basically have just gone ahead and put in that entire site URL, click on add and voila, it would actually show up as a full knowledge right here. So this is basically what I was expecting to happen, um, but instead it actually came in as actions. And in fact, don't let these three confuse you. Like, hey, Daniel, did these three actually go ahead and match the three connections you have in the data source? No, because there's more than three. Watch this, if I click on see all, you will see that these are all the actions that are created. And there's a combination, see? There were three of them for the three lists for create. Then there is also the list all the information, retrieve, update, and there's also one for delete. So it's actually working through a whole bunch of scenarios and pulling all this information. So you really can't go with that concept that, okay, since there are three data sources over here or three connections we made for the SharePoint, maybe there will only be three actions. No, there is no such relationship over here. It creates everything that we need to see over here. But that was the big thing, all right? Because I really thought initially that this would come in as knowledge, but also keep in mind that currently right now, you cannot drill down to a list level. You can do that for a library, but you can't do that for a list level. In list level, Actions is the best way to get down to that list level and pull in all the items that you want. Make sense now? Good, because let's do at least one test, all right? So in this case, I'll actually go back to our app over here. I'll go and take a look at some of the, you know, coffee machines we have. I'll just click on it and say, okay, we have a barista light. So let me just do a search on something like that. It says, I'm gonna ask a question is that, uh, give me information about a barista light. I'll go and click send. Now it is actually going and using all the information, all the knowledge you created. See, it's actually even showing me this over here. It gave me an error, but this is good. We can actually fix it. And there's two ways to fix it. Right over here, I can click on connect or up over here on the top, I can go and click on manage connections. So let me go to manage connections. 
I'll come over here. It's taking me in. It's saying, hey, there is no connection already there. That's fine. I'll click on connect. I already have a connection done over here. So I'm just going to go and click on submit. I don't have to authenticate. I just got to make sure that the connection is there. This is a one time thing only. And I'm glad this happened. Uh, so you know how to troubleshoot that. I'll close this again over here and I'll do a retry. So it still remembers what I asked before is that give me information about a barista light. It is going and retrieving it. Remember one of the actions that we have and voila, it gave me the information. It says the barista light coffee machine is listed in the coffee machines table and here are the details. Pretty good. This way we know that the agent is working just fine and it pulled in the information directly from that SharePoint list connections in our Canvas app. So this is the first perfect scenario. What I want to show you now is that second scenario. When we go back over here, close out of this one and go to our apps, that second scenario is that now I have an app which is a combination of Dataverse and SharePoint. Well, exactly which connection is it going to give us to? So let's go test that. And before I do it, let me show you this app once again. This is the build agent from app Dataverse and SharePoint, uh, which I believe is right here. Build Dataverse SharePoint right here, build agent from at Dataverse and SharePoint. I have two Dataverse connections and I have the SharePoint one. But again, for that app, if I come over here and if I go and click on the commands and I go and take a look at the details, you see the only connection I see over here is SharePoint. So my educated guess right now is that when we go and build that agent, it will only have connections or sorry, it will only have actions for the SharePoint one. It will not have Dataverse. Why? Because there is no Dataverse actions. So I'm going to go back and go here to the apps. This is the one. Click on the commands and I'm going to click on create agent from an app preview. I'll click on it. Let's see what it automatically generates. This is what do you want this agent to do? Uh, for this case, again, I'll keep it as this. It says search and display devices. I'll keep this for the sake of this demo. This prompt looks good. Click on next. Um, it is going ahead and retrieving all the information, instructions, everything. I'm happy with it. So I'll go and click on create. And now it is going through the process of building the full agent in the back end. So you know, we just have to patiently wait over here. And again, in this case, the message on the top right is a few seconds earlier than what this pop up window does. So I'll go and X out of this one. And for here, I'll click on edit in Copilot Studio. Another tab opens up and we are directly taken inside our Copilot Studio. So very good. Details is there. Description is there. The orchestration for the AI is already enabled. Um, knowledge is enabled, but there you go. See in the actions, I only see the SharePoint ones. And just to be sure, if I click on see all right here, see it's only the SharePoint ones. And just as a quick reminder, the app has Dataverse and it has SharePoint, but it's only the SharePoint connection that we saw. And therefore these actions are also purely for the SharePoint. So you see what's going on over here? Your app absolutely has to have a connection because that connection is what transfers over into actions over here. But let's finish that last example too, because you should already be thinking about that. Why? Because that app absolutely has no connection. It has the native Dataverse connection. And this one it is. Let me just double check that right here. See, that's the app. So if I go and take a look at that app again, um, Dataverse only, go into commands, go and take a look at the details, connections, and there is no connection in this app. So we are very curious to see what's happening. And, and once again, before we do that, the instructions are in the limitation says that uh, if a data source connection isn't found, which is our situation right now, it's not possible to extract actions for app. In such cases, agent builder still generates an agent. So based on this information over here, we should still see an agent created but there will absolutely be no actions. There'll be no knowledge. We don't even know what's going to happen. So let's test it. I'll come over here, go back to our app. This is the one Dataverse only click on the commands, create agent from app. Uh, let's see what it even does over here. Does it do anything? Actually kind of does. It's actually saying search and display devices. Um, so I'll select that one. Here is the prompt. I'll click on next. Um, that is the name. So I'm going to go and click that as this um, description is good. Instructions is good. I'll go and click on create. And again, at this point, we just have to wait for it to finish and do the whole thing. Awesome. So in this case, it is completed and I'm going to go and click on edit in Copilot Studio. <laughs> Let's see what happens. All right. Here is the agent. We're almost in the agent. Okay. Details is good. Instruction is good. Orchestration knowledge. But if I go over here, <laughs> the actions is blank and the triggers is blank. So it literally everything that it stated over here is accurate. That because the agent builder went ahead and created the agent, but no actions were converted for us. And that's exactly what it is.
because there was no connections in the Canvas app. Over here, there is no actions. So if I even went and did some testing over here, we're not gonna get any information, but the agent is still over here. So like I mentioned in the introduction, this thing is in preview, so that's why there are these type of limitations. But hey, at least now you know how this works, and based on this new knowledge, you can plan for your future solutions. So wasn't that awesome? I mean, sure, there are some limitations. That is, it only focuses on the connections that you have, but it went ahead and created the entire agent for you. And that first perfect scenario where the Canvas app had only the SharePoint connections, did you see in the Copilot Studio how many actions it actually went and built? It will literally take care of any conversation your agent has to have from that data source. So hopefully this video was useful to you and gave you some ideas for the future solutions that you're building. And now, any time that you're planning on building a Canvas app in the back of your mind, think about how you can go ahead and integrate that with a Copilot Studio agent. Hey, if you have a few seconds, can you click on that like button and even consider subscribing it? Because it's just two easy clicks for you, but boy, it makes a big difference for me. Also, if you don't mind, can you put in a comment below? Because that really boosts this video up to reach a higher audience. And once again, thank you for watching this video.